Welcome back to BCU Freshman Class Series, where we'll be teaching you the most important building blocks of ham radio and DMR. This freshman series is for those just getting into the hobby for the first time who might not know where to begin. In these videos, we cover broad topics in terms you can understand so that you can start your ham radio journey on a stable foundation. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more instructional content just like this. We really appreciate it. For today's video, we'll teach you how to get started with two of the most vital resources a novice ham should know about when looking into DMR or digital mobile radio. These two resources are Brandmeister servers and PyStar. Let's dive in. Alrighty, so first we're going to go to brandmeister.network. I'm going to jump in the computer here. Brandmeister.network. And from here uh, we can see the dashboard. So we want to either register or log in. So if you click on register, uh, you'll be greeted with some information here. You will put your call sign, email address. If you're a personal user, you check that. Then you put your password in. And then you put the wavelength of UHF. Uh, this just kind of verifies you're not a robot. Um, this, for any of you who are not sure, is going to be 70 centimeters. And then you put your uh, DMR ID in here, uh, which you can obtain from radioid.net if you do not have one. And then just go ahead and register. It'll ask you to verify your email address. So you just click the verification link that they send you, and then you're set. So I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in real quick. Perfect. Now that we're logged in, we can see our actual dashboard here. Uh, this is going to show us all the, the information, what's going on around us in the world. Uh, now, probably the most important thing you're going to want to do with your Brandmeister account, if you're using a hotspot or a SkyBridge, is going to be to create a Brandmeister, a, a hotspot security password. Now, how you do that is you go over here to services, and you go down to self-care, and from this section, there's a lot of information here, uh, but you want to go down here to hotspot security and type in a password. Now, it's recommended that it's, that it's a very simple password, uh, you know, not mixed numbers and letters, uh, no caps and, and lowercase, just make it a very simple password. Uh, that's the recommendations I have gotten. Uh, I know sometimes Pystar has trouble with the complicated passwords, uh, so I just made mine a pretty simple password. Now, if you type your password in and then click Save, We'll do this real quick. It's going to take that new password and save it. Now, it's not actually going to show up here afterwards. I know some people think, oh no, it doesn't show up. It must not have worked. Don't worry, it did in fact work if you typed it in and then hit save. Uh, so we've got our password in there. Now, the Brandmeister site is, is actually awesome for monitoring what's going on as well. So you can see the uh, last heard. You can actually search for yourself on there. Um, you can see if, you know, if you're actually getting out there. Um, you can click on your hotspots and you can see what hotspots you have hooked up, uh, if you have any on the air at the moment. Um, so it's actually a great site to manage all of your, all of your DMR information. So to, to set up our actual SkyBridge, or any hotspot for that matter, that's Pystar based, we're going to go to uh, the IP address of the SkyBridge. So to do that, We've got it connected to the internet and plugged in. Now I'm on the same Wi-Fi network that this is plugged into. So let's see what we have here. The IP address, that's one of the great things with the SkyBridge. It actually displays it on the screen so you don't have to go searching for it. Uh, it makes it super easy. So we have 192.168.1.2.168.1.2.168.1.2.168.1.2.168.1.2.168.1.2.168.1.2.168.1.2.168.1.2.168.1.2.168.1.2.168.1.2.168.1.2.168.1.2.168.1.2.168.1.2.168.
Uh, now, if you got this for the first time and it's never been used before, most likely, you know, and it's never been set up, if you got it in the plug and play package, we actually do all of this hard work for you, including the radio programming. Uh, but if you just have the hotspot itself, uh, you will need to enable DMR mode. And then after that, just click apply changes. It will restart and enable that mode. And then from there, you can add all of your information. So you would want to add your call sign, your DMR ID, your radio, radio frequency, which is going to be the frequency we communicate from the sky bridge to the radio on, and then your latitude and longitude. This is going to display your location to other people. Uh, so if they're using a the sky bridge, they'll be able to see, oh, hey, he is from uh, the United States if they're in a different country. Or if they wanted to look it up, you know, they'll be able to see that information. Um, and then also your URL. Typically, I just put my QRZ page there. Uh, doesn't look like it has everything there. Maybe there's a character limit. Let's see. Okay, so there may be a character limit there. Uh, so we can, we can probably just check that to auto and it will take care of that for us, I believe. And then here for SkyBridge, uh, this is the setting you want it to be set to. It should come this way, but if it doesn't, if you have a SkyBridge, a SkyBridge Plus, at least this, uh, the one we have here, uh, you want to make sure you set it to SkyBridge, uh, this one right here, the dual band. Yeah, perfect. And then no type, private versus public. There's no right or wrong for this. Uh, they do different things. So if you have it set to public, what that means is anyone with a, a DMR radio and a radio ID programmed in uh, that assigns to that frequency is going to be able to use your SkyBridge to talk to people over the Brandmeister network. Now, if you set it to private, on the other hand, as opposed to public, then only you, only the person with the DMR ID that you have set in here, is going to be able to talk to it. So if you live in a very busy location, like in, a, in an apartment building, uh, with other people using ham radio, you probably want to set this to private so only you can get in on it. Uh, or if you're in a, you know, a household with multiple people uh, using sky bridges or you know, radios, probably set it to private. But if maybe you and your wife or some buddies uh, have the sky bridge and want to be able to use the same sky bridge from time to time, set it to public. So we've got that. We'll leave this on private. And then a few more things. This, uh, you want to set your time zone. So we're in the Chicago time zone. And then this, I believe, typically comes set for UK. So you just want to switch that over to United States. Now for the DMR master, uh, there's a few of them here. The 3102 is in the location we are in. We actually have a video that goes over this if you want some more information on how that works. Uh, but I believe there's a 3102, 3102 three, and then there might be a four as well. There's a few different Brandmeister masters, so you want to make sure you select one of them, uh, preferably the one for your area. Then your hotspot security. So this is important. The password we just created over on the Brandmeister dashboard under the self-care section, you want to enter that password in the hotspot security settings. So that same password I have there, I'm going to go ahead and enter here that I just created. Perfect. And then uh, we have our color code set to one. Uh, you know, most of this information you can leave alone. And then I usually leave that alone. Now, if you want to add a Wi Fi network, you can do that here. Uh, you can just configure Wi Fi and add your Wi Fi network. So your SSID, which is your network name, and your password. You can also have it, uh, you know, scan for networks and then just pick one and put the password in that way. So now that all of this is done and ready, you just simply click any of these apply changes buttons and it's going to work for you. Uh, so at this point, we have configured both our Brandmeister account and our PyStar. Now that your accounts are set up, you're two steps closer to becoming a full-fledged DMR user. Not bad. We hope this guide was helpful in getting you there. For more questions about configuring Brandmeister or PyStar settings, check out the links in the description to watch our in-depth tutorial videos on the topics. Of course, our in-house customer service and tech support teams are always available to help you get on the airways as soon as possible. Give us a call, 816-532-8451. Thanks again for watching. I'm Cody, W3AMG73.